Sixty ones again. <laughs> Dolores on the Sarbomba. It's my turn to do the scuttle. Begin adventure. Let's go. Okay, wait, wait. What's, What's your the plan? plan? What's your plan? What's your plan? Uh, get lots of soup and water. Yeah, like so much soup and water. <laughs> and then um, the I'm, wait. Okay. I'm just gonna pick ah. up whatever's closest. I'm not gonna shoot Ugh. for anything. I'm just gonna clean out the house as best I can. Okay. So Dolores is about cleaning the house. Cooking. Okay. All right, what we got? Oh, I got a Timmy. And I got some get soup. Get soup, soup, soup. Oh, the radio's right there. Grab the radio. I can't. It's one, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, I just... I just okay, go back to soup, 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 soup. All the soup there. And water. And the radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Master Dolores. Frig. You know how to put your hands on your hips like, every time. Oh, there's a gas mask. Yeah. Soup, soup, soup. Get the axe. Yeah. Yes. Throw it away. Good job. Good more, job. more, more. Give me my daughter. I need someone, okay. a patsy, to go into the wasteland. Soup, 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 soup. Water. In the bathroom. Oh, bugs for... Frick, stuck. Struggle. Ugh. Okay. You should probably try to get, uh... Escape items. That's what I'm going for. I was going to say people. But yeah. That's fine. Frick. Flashlight's important. Ah, there's no time! Oh I God. took... <laughs> oh, oh, I my choked God. so hard. No, you did good. You got a lot of food this yeah, time. But I have no husband. Yeah, that <laughs> could be disastrous. Let's get a rundown. Let's see what we got. Not a bad haul, except the empty seat at the table. Yeah, that's a little. Very not sad. Good. But we have the radio and we have a gas mask, so that's really, really good for us. And the axe even is good. Axe is good. We've got tons of soup. Flashlight's important. We don't have a lot of water. Okay. But we'll just let everyone get thirsty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. I think we can do it. Uh-huh. So here we are. Ted is die. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then, of course, as is customary, no one gets any food. We could have a random event where Ted comes back, though, right? Yeah. Maybe he comes back as two-head Ted. <laughs> <laughs> or Ted, for short. <laughs> We're fighting. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. We got Geiger counters. We stopped arguing for how long? Okay. Ration supplies. Everyone no, no, no. is doing perfect. Alright, let's prepare an expedition. Okay, here's the thing. Should we oh. send Dolores? Because we're not going to want her Frig. to leave. Oh, we have to break stuff immediately? Two things are going to break. Two things? Okay, wait. Let's figure that out then. I think, we, I think the radio is important. No! <laughs> Everything's important. I think the radio is most important to get that going first. Yeah, radio because if we lose the gas mask, someone's going to get sick. If we lose the flashlight, we might not be able to escape. If we lose the radio, we won't be able to escape. And the ambient radiation in the world will never go away. Mm -hmm. so expeditions will never be safe. So I think it's worth it. Okay. Freak. It's not worth it, but I think it's just like the least bad option. That's a really bad luck. Day Freak. two, we have basically nothing again. That's not true. That was very yeah. pessimistic of me. <laughs> okay, we got lots of soup. We have an axe. We have a radio. Let's go. Okay. Everyone okay? Let's hope so. We need to make a proper inspection. That was one nasty earthquake. We never used to get such bad ones before. It's all because of the atoms. Definitely the atoms. No one should mess with atoms. No one. Okay. <sighs> and let's see, everyone's thirsty. I don't care. Good. Good. All right, who should Dolores. We send? Wait, that's... I would rather lose her day four than day 50. And we lose the game. Yeah, and then we restart. <laughs> you just want to go. Here, take the axe. That's aggressive. Yeah, go for it. Dolores with the axe. You just want to just run to end so that you can, you can do the scuttle. <laughs> I like the scuttle. Oh, you're fainting. Faint more. Oh my goodness. Spiders! Well, let's... Mm, maybe not. You want to leave it? Spiders? Last time, spiders are wherever we didn't stop them. Yeah. Everyone was tired. There's a lot of things that can go wrong. Spiders can get aggroed and eat our radio or something. Or they can make us sick by biting us. 
Or we can spray the bug spray and the bug spray makes us sick? No, I think... This is all speculation. I don't have no idea. I don't think the bug spray will make us sick. I think if you're using... Oh, yeah? Item... Breathe in bug spray right now. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm just impressed that you were able to pull out bug spray right here. <laughs> <laughs> just carry it with you. You never know. Okay, use the bug spray. We got the bug spray. Use the bug spray. Yeah. Whatever. What am I going to say the bug spray for? Rats? Psh. You need a rat spray for that. Medicine. Can't eat it. I can eat it. Wait, we got soup. We didn't need soup. Oh. We needed bug spray. God dang. <laughs> okay. Timmy's gonna die. Great. Die faster. Oh. Give him one more day, no water. Go for it. All right. I'm feeling lucky. Hey, you know what? If they die, you still have Dolores. That's true. You maniacs, you blew it up. Ah, damn you, damn you all to hell. That's something we should have told our neighbors when they blew up their barbecue last spring. Those were good times, even if they wasted a perfectly good barbecue. What a waste of my time. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. the kids died. No way. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> the kids died. I guess they couldn't go one more day. <laughs> <laughs> I was so sure. Oh. <laughs> uh. What we make of today will be our tomorrow. Yada yada. Mary Jane left. We're terrified. Okay, so they both left. Lack of water drove Timmy insane. He opened the shelter door and ran away without looking back. He's not lucky to return. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that was a bad choice. Well, you got what you wanted. <laughs> now you can scuttle. <laughs> Where did you get that gas mask? 61's again. You scuttle now. That was <laughs> pathetic. It's not even going to be a full episode. <laughs> it's okay. Let's go, Ted. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So unjust. Why? Yeah, I guess it was. <laughs> I'm the one who didn't feed the kids. <laughs> I did tell you not to, though. Oh my god, I'm stuck! Give me all this. Oh, oh, more, more. Good nutritional value in that water. Oh yeah. Alright now. One more. Got the water. That's good. Oh frig, the radio. Yep. Good. Excellent. And I'm gonna focus on people for a second. Ah, oh, there's no people! Okay. Scout handbook. Frick there's me. Dolores uh, with a gas mask. Uh, oh there's Timmy with a yeah. soup. Oh. First aid kit. Get that. You can't. It's two. It's two? Frick. Frick. Oh my Tart god. Abandon, abandon, abandon! Oh, I got too hung up on it. You got too hung up on it. Frick. I'm so mad. Okay. Maybe I should just die. Frick, is this just the one where we give up on life? Yes. <laughs> Good lord. We some achievements, though. Well, we didn't. That's just achievement progress. We didn't even get oh, achievements no. for it. Okay. We're not in our groove. Yeah, here. You <laughs> the end. Goodness. Oh, I forgot I threw Timmy down. Threw Timmy down the wall. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, he's going to be fine. He's got read material. He's got the radio. He's got soup and water. <laughs> Yet another scenario where Timmy lives and everyone else dies. <laughs> a lot of those. Uh, okay, your turn. <laughs> 61's again. Maybe this will just be a, a, a compilation video. <laughs> that's, that's not very optimistic for this next one. How dare you? No, this is going to be the winner. Go Dolores. I think I have the right, right plan. Just grab everything. I, what the frig? Oh, this was a mistake. I shouldn't have grabbed this right away. Yeah, I should have got it on the way out. Yeah. Okay, whatever. I don't care. This is a first aid? That's close. Freak, playing cards. I got tricked. Give me my son. Okay, that's good. The axe is right there. Oh my god, I can't the go in the washroom. Behind you. I can't go in the washroom. Mm. Get this. Yeah. Why is it in the family portrait? <laughs> Which one of you? I had the aggression. Okay. 
to the bitch. Get the water more. Yeah. That's good, that's good. But you want Ted if you can. I'm gonna go straight for it's him. Because it basically doubles your chances of mask! Oh. oh, I thought you said maps. I said mask! I can get it. Go, go. You can't get it. Oh my god! Run! Yes! <laughs> I told you I could get it. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> that was a good run, I think. Well, I don't what know. What a scuttle. Uh, yeah, it was quite a scuttle. It was definitely a scuttly one. It was really salty because I saw the med kit and I was going to grab it, but then the freaking lamp got in the way. <laughs> yeah, I know. This could be a real good run. Oh my gosh. Okay. That is a loaded shelter. Yeah. I do wish I had a little bit more soup and water. Yeah, but we'll go on an expedition. Freaking. Yeah. And we'll go to the Campbell Soup Factory. And don't they need water to make soup? It's going to have everything for us. That's the thing that I don't get. Soup's got water in it. So why do they. Why are they so dang thirsty all the time? Well, they're not in the 60 parsecs, they only have soup. Hmm. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, day two. Friggin' spontaneous combustion. Mary Jane caught on fire and the whole <laughs> shelter died. Okay. And being stuck in my ass. All right, let's start getting out. We've got the gas mask, so I don't care. Mary Jane's not talking to anyone. Well, let's keep her sane if we can. Okay, so I think it's good to use the children as much as possible in the beginning now. Yeah. Because we want Ted and Dolores to not have any scratches or sicknesses or anything. Right. I mean, like, that's what kids are for. Everyone's just thirsty. Well, um. What? Okay. Let me double check. No. <laughs> I was reacting to what you said. That's what kids are for. Let's give them the mask. All right, so far, so good. Y'all are gonna die? Don't worry, this was all my plan. Playing with matches is never a good idea. Doing so in a tiny underground shelter, I was joking about the spontaneous combustion, but now oh it's real. Oh my heck, it's oh, okay. Uh, whole place is on fire, but we need to save our supplies. Well, okay, we can save the scout handbook. Oh good. Okay, so this is a nothing. Yeah, this is fine, this is a free ride. Take it easy, because like the music. I wow, understand. look, even minimal damage. Just a little bit of charring here, a little scorch it there, and a little, little ash here. It's fun. It's just like we're at a barbecue. Yeah. That was close. Nothing is damaged. All right, who will eat today? Nobody. Nobody, nobody. What to do? Axe, axe. <laughs> we felt like something was staring at us from the corner of the shelter. We think it's a rat. At least it looks like a rat. A rat on a very good diet. We decided we need to do something about it, or to put it more bluntly, it's either him or us. Us, us. Okay. Don't uh, break that. Uh, you told me axe. I you... meant us die, not us live. Well, the axe is fine, oh, so everything's perfect. okay. You relax, okay? Roll axe. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. nothing happened. We just killed it and nothing. Oh well, okay. I guess he was gonna steal our soup, which we still don't need. Frig off. We've we've never fixed this with one of these things, eh? I think we tried with a Boy Scout. That's not bug spray. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Game got um, confused. I think don't risk the flashlight for sure. You could maybe risk the Boy Scout book. Yeah, let's use the Scout hand. Yeah, I wouldn't do nothing. I wouldn't do nothing. I wouldn't do nothing. Well, we done did something. Uh oh. Day seven. No more book. Frick. Why are you sick? Using the handbook to research vent maintenance seemed like a fair idea. We figured it's full of pointers on how to fix things. It must have a chapter on nuclear shelter air filtration systems. Before we could even check, we were invaded by a group of angry mutant insects which flew out of that cursed vent. Their stings hurt like hell and seemed to give us a fever. That's bold. I didn't even look in the book yet. Okay, well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's a s sickness that that will turn into something good. Like he'll become a mutant. Maybe. Maybe he'll mutate into Super Ted. Yeah. And then he can just, like, punch the radiation out of the family. <laughs> We keep dreaming about those little things we did back in the day when there weren't as many bombs falling down. Not on our heads, anyway. 
date. Maybe later. Oh, someone's knocking. Knock, knock, knocking on shelter door. <laughs> whiners, whiners. Oh, is Timmy dying? It's today or never. Yeah, Timmy needs stuff. Frig, Mary Jane, please hurry. Yeah. We're burning through these supplies at a very low rate. <laughs> okay, Monty Python. Well, we already have an axe. Do you think they'll just rip our map in two and leave? No, maybe they'll give us something else. Maybe they'll give us soup or something. I have just now realized we don't have the radio. So, like, I hope she doesn't break the gas mask. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see if they give us anything nice. Is Mary Jane back? I heard the door open. Oh, oh map's she's fine. Back. Map's, map's fine. fine. Good. Okay. Then I don't care about anything She didn't else. get any freaking food or water, though. She got, she got a radio! Oh, she got a radio and the checkers and a gun. Oh, she rocks. All right, Mary Jane's the best. Mm -hmm. We were way too impressed, and they gave us checkers. Okay, let's see what Mary Jane got. Uh, oh, she did get a soup. Oh, nice. She got a soup from the trash. Trash cans in her neighborhood. One of our pre-blast neighbors threw out a few unopened cans of soup. Ha! The joke's on him. If he's in his shelter right now, he's probably full of regrets. With a lawn like that, who wouldn't be? Wow. <laughs> One of the bins had a nice working radio inside. The owner probably thought a new radio bought. The owner, <laughs> the owner probably bought a new radio and got rid of the old one. We should buy a new one too when all this is over. Why wow, we have this one? This one's new to us. The pacifist guy from around the corner threw out his rifle. It's ours now. Wonder if it still works. If it's a pacifist, why did he have a rifle to begin with? Yeah, that's weird. Very odd. All right, let's see. Hungry, sick, hungry, hungry, tired, hungry. Okay. I like your song. Thank you. Send out Timmy. Prayer of the expedition. All right, let's listen to the government. Oh, that's not the government. That's Could Canada. Be. I think this is the Canada one. Oh. Thank you. Oh, no, it is government. I told you. <laughs> oh, Ted's pretty... It's safer to travel on the surface now. We don't need the gas mask no more. Good, good. Let's save it then. Okay. Don't send Timmy with it. Who's got... Mary Jane needs food or she's gonna die. Okay. Dolores needs it too. Let's do this. No. Nope. Ted's starving. Yeah. Alright. Timmy doesn't need anything. No. But, and that's good because he's gonna leave. See you, Tim. Maybe give him uh, the axe? I'm afraid of breaking that axe. What else do we have? Playing cards. What about the gun because we don't have ammo? Yeah, who cares about the gun? Here, go ahead, shoot some, shoot some rad roaches. Mm -hmm. All right, Timmy's gone. Good. Supplies, supplies, dehydrate, starvation. Didn't, Didn't we just feed Dolores? I thought we just fed Dolores. Uh oh, she bugged or something. Are you having a brain aneurysm? No, I'm sure that we did. Dolores needs it too. Let's do this. That's weird. Okay, let's just give her soup. Mm -hmm. Not risk it. I think we'll just do this. Maybe unclick it. I don't know. We'll see. Phone calls. All right, go get the phone, Jane. I heard a rat. You killed my brother. <laughs> it's Hill Valley. Dehy You're a what? real problem, Dolores. Dehydration. Okay. Should we just leave it one day? No. Alright. I'm afraid. Okay. The trash can of ours is getting disgusting. The good news is we don't have much of an appetite when we see it, so we're saving some food. <laughs> if for some reason we would like to tidy this mess up, those giant green cockroaches are a pretty good motivator. We... Yeah, okay. Well, we I don't know, I just thought... Just want us to get irradiated? We want something cool to happen? <laughs> Kinda, but go for it. Let's see what happens. Maybe we'll crush them into water. That'd be cool. Where's our water? Oh my heck. That was close. The nest of those glowing... nothing. Oh, we still have it. It's just open. Oh. I guess it's just one on the floor. It's really dumb looking. Okay. At least Dolores stopped whining. Yeah, Frig. You're never a huge fan of mushrooms. Eat that mushrooms! Yes. So here's like a happen. Death? Yes. Still no Timmy. I was hoping the penicillin would fix <laughs> Ted. 
<clears throat> Only can they were delicious and we're glowing in the dark. Okay, so that means no one's hungry now. Alright, backsides, let's listen to the radio. Beep boop dee boop boop dee boop boop beep dee boop beep ba dee ba boop. Don't look to me. The government has not fallen. Thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. Dehydration. We're a regular family, so we have the occasional argument or two, but it was never as intense as the fight we just got into. No one wants to speak to each other. Let's hope this won't last too long. Oh boy. Still no Timmy. Ted's still sick. Uh, it looks like Mary Jane was bummed, but she seems better now. Or, or maybe she's just not dehydrated anymore. Both parents are dehydrated, though. Yep. Yeah. Alright, let's give the water. There's not enough for everyone. Oh my god. That's why that button didn't work. Okay. Open in the name of freedom, came a shout from outside our door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear it was a group of people, probably armed. Anyone who introduces themselves like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. Should we open? Do you want to open it? I kind of do. If, I do. If they're shouting open for freedom, then they're probably good, honest Americans who are just coming to give a helping hand to their neighbors. I want to open it. Let's open the door. Get on the floor. Please give me water, you whore. <laughs> well, oh. Timmy's back and he got a bottle of water. Bless. Okay, okay. And he didn't break the rifle. That's good. Okay. Oh, we got to make it. Oh. But he got sick. What? What a loser. Oh, give it to Ted, though. Yeah. Maybe he didn't get the med kit. Maybe the freedom fighters did. Opening the door revealed a group of armed teenagers, possibly high school students. Contrary to what we expected, they were very friendly and requested to know if we'd seen any reds nearby. We couldn't help them. When they found out we were not armed, they were kind enough to leave us a spare rifle. We asked who they were, and all they said was, Wolverines! So Timmy did break the rifle. He did, but we got another one. Okay, cool. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. The silent wasteland had at least one resident who managed quite well. It was a proud-looking monkey. <laughs> oh, I wish he brought the monkey home with him. It would yeah. be so fun. We had no idea where it came from. The zoo, maybe? It seems very friendly. After getting a few pats on the back and playing fetch, it started following us. At one point during our expedition, the monkey started making weird sounds and digging in front of us with a stick. A quick investigation revealed a few bottles of water. No one even tried to open them. The same couldn't be said about those bottles of booze lying next to them. The monkey took us just outside the town to what seemed like a hidden bunker. It contained some medical supplies. Hell yeah. We, sp <laughs> we spotted some sort of vehicle just down the street, but couldn't get a good enough look at it in the dark. Maybe future expeditions will prove more fruitful. A tank. Mm-hmm. And we have the flashlight, which is good. Ted hasn't recovered from his illness yet. Okay, so we should heal him today. So it doesn't say Timmy lost the rifle, so we would have had two rifles if it was allowed. I, I think guess. what happened is, because we didn't have it when the Wolverines came, they gave us a rifle, right? Yeah. So I wonder, if we had the rifle, would they have not come, or would they have given us something else? Maybe ammo, because we don't have that. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, well, at least we didn't lose anything. Yeah, nothing bad happened. But yeah, we probably could have gained something better. Alright, let's see. Ted's sick. Dolores. Mary Jane. Maybe we should wait till they get, like, diseased and their flesh is rotting off of their bones. Yeah, that's true. He's only sick. Yeah. Okay. Prayer expedition. Mary Jane is ready. Yeah. Okay. Our supplies are scarce and our morale is low. You can almost smell the desperation in the shelter. We're pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby, mostly old folks from the retirement Steal home. from the old people. Yes. Steal from the old people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never been more attracted to you. <laughs> Who's coughing? Well, it could have been either. Probably dead. Yeah. He's a bit of a baby, that one. We went, got what we needed, and came back. We're sure that group will do just fine. Most probably. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay, so we just Got ammo. robbed a veteran of yep. their, like, memorabilia, and we didn't take any water. Yep. So he's gonna starve to die, so let's give him a food. He did a good job last time. Yeah, and then, yeah, Ted's still sick, but he's not dying. He's alright. Okay, Mary, Mary Jane. Jane. Okay, uh, should flashlight? We... Should we hold off on the flashlight? I think so. I'm just thinking to check out the tank. No, I think better just take the checkers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she'll have a bet with somebody for like a whole bunch of food and water. Dang, I'd be so proud of her if that happens. Mm -hmm. Mary Jane, gone! 
Electric boogaloo. No, he's a lie. She's a lie. He's a dehydrated. Dehydrated. During the night, we heard some suspicious sounds coming from behind our door. When we peeked out in the morning, we saw a leather suitcase. Okay. Do you want to open the suitcase? Yeah, we'll get a suitcase, first of all, which means we can take the gun and ammo later. Yeah, yeah. We'll probably shoot some guy. Worst thing that happens is we get sick and we still have a med kit, so... Yeah. I would do it. Would you do it? I'd do it. I'm doing it right now. Okay, didn't get sick. Didn't, didn't get, get a suitcase. suitcase. We got a lock. lock. Didn't even notice it. That's nice. Mm-hmm. Why? Okay. Remember last time I joked there was a suitcase in the suitcase? Mm -hmm. There actually was a suitcase in the suitcase. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And this time it was a lock. Cool, cool. Alright, Timmy's looking very pale. That's not good. Uh, yeah, he's actually looking very bad. Dehydrated. He's only sick. Oh, okay. Only I guess sick. he just always... He's been looking bad since birth. Yep. He's a ginge. Oh, we're just hearing things. Well, let's not go crazy. Let's play cards. Yeah. What do you think I'd play? Um... President? Cheat? Texas Hold'em? Oh, who's knocking? Crazy eight. To stop the crazy. Oh, it doesn't say. I'll say you're right. <laughs> Good job, honey. Thank you. Starving. Starving. No reason to be stingy there, except for these guys. Yeah. <laughs> we were admiring the radioactive landscape when we saw a young woman. Oh, it's the spider hunter. Oh. Do you want to okay. give her the ammo? No. She feeds everybody. Everybody? But we're not hungry. I don't know. I All don't right, know. We won't give her a thing because cause you're right. We're not like, we're not out of soup. We're out of water. Yeah. So let's just keep this. In case there's somebody like a, a water trader, we can shoot him in the neck. Yeah. You can't see. <laughs> this woman says she hunts mostly for food. Clearly, she's an uncivilized savage. So, frick her. We're keeping our gun. Mm hmm. Okay, let's see. Starvation. Hunger. Starvation. Uh oh. Let's give him that. Should have shot the spider. Timmy claimed he couldn't sleep last night due to Ted's loud, incessant snoring. Ted angrily retaliated by making quips about the size of Timmy's ears, what? which enraged Timmy even more. He's desperate for a solution. What can be done about this? What? Okay, why would you use a med kit? Let's think this through, though. He's gonna he's gonna rip the med kit apart and stick gauze in his ears. Look, I'm gonna do that. You guys are sick, idiot. Freaking Timmy, you tard. I just thought, well, maybe he's gonna make some apnea mask for Ted, and it'll also cure him of his disease no okay i think to me is an uncultured swine i He's would just have to agree put the med kit in his ear okay then or say... shove it down ted's throat and then we're just down a party member oh gosh okay next day qq <laughs> me a river timmy sleep better mm, okay everything seems okay Freaking dehydration. Should we not give him water? I don't know. I'm gonna give him water just because the freak. I don't want him to like leave. Yeah, that's true. Give him water, yeah. Maybe Mary Jane will be back soon. Yeah, that that's I think that's smart. Go for that. Wait, I didn't read what happened here. Timmy was even more miserable this morning after another sleepless night due to Ted snoring. The bags under his eyes speak for themselves. Ted is unwilling to comment and still won't even admit he snores. <laughs> Spiders seem to be operating under the assumption that they have all the same rights to this shelter as we do. They're everywhere and don't seem very scared of us. It's time we change that. We don't want any more spiders in our soup. No, sir. Okay. Well, that's annoying because we already have used stuff on bugs. Like, go away, bugs. Yeah. Okay, scared handbook might break if we try to, like, squeech them or something. But obviously we're not going to use the med kit. Yeah. And I don't want us getting more sick or, like, have risking Dolores also getting sick. Yeah. So, yeah, let's use it. What's that steadily? It's coughing. I think Ted's getting worse. Oh gosh. Still oh, he's fatigued now though. Yeah. 
I, th I think we should use the med kit on him. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll do it today. Yeah. We got a soup! Oh. Ooh, frig, I want a water. Yeah. And the Boy Scout manual didn't break, so that's good. Let's see. Ted needs a drink. He needs a food. He keeps coughing and coughing. He's fatty gay. We already knew that. <laughs> Timmy needs to eat. He's pale. He's not thirsty. Dolores will not survive without water. Shoot. That's a problem. That is a problem. Okay. But there is water and soup. <laughs> yeah. Let's drink a soup. We received another transmission from the army. They'll be doing a quick sweep of the area and asked all survivors to leave markings at the nearest bus stop to indicate they're around. The markings are to be made with cards. Because we won't be able to play poker, but if that gets us rescued, we'll probably make that sacrifice. No, we have the cards. I know, but it was poker, not Crazy Eights. <laughs> <Pardon me. laughs> Dolores didn't die. She's the type. That's a scam artist. She's still alive. Uh, died of dehydration. Yeah, whatever. The cards are in place. All we need to do is wait for the army to pinpoint our location. That shouldn't take long, we hope. Cool. Right. Stop complaining. Oh playing. my god. Dehydration, dehydration. Again, Timmy's uh, gonna be the last man standing again. Yep. Tin supplies? Please, Timmy. Please <sighs> find these supplies. So great. Oh my god. If you find water, then you're gonna be promoted from. No! <laughs> Wait, why is Ted a robot? What? This is bloody handprint. <laughs> Oh man, all Mary Jane did was get sick. She didn't bring any water either. No, we got plenty of soup and, and the And Ted didn't spray. get water, or I mean, Timmy didn't get water when he went on his little thing either. No, Timmy's garbage. Everyone's garbage. Oh my we god. We got a med kit, hooray! <laughs> this treasure hunt actually turned out to be fun despite taking place in a radioactive dump that is our town. More importantly though, it was successful and we managed to find a small package. A med kit. <sighs> Mary Jane went to the supermarket. Bandits were there. Freak, remember the last time she went to the bandit supermarket? She had freaking, like, brought the whole The whole supermarket world. in her pooba. Yeah. Yeah. She got four cans of soup. Oh, she really did do well, actually, though. But she, duh, we needed water. But whatever. Four soup, one bug spray, lost the checkers somehow. <laughs> we got followed. And vehicle is the work in progress car. Yeah. Uh, water, water, killed them. No, okay. no word on why. Why Ted is a robot, gentleman. Yeah. I guess it's just an Easter egg thing. Okay. Well. If you're a robot. Why do you need water? I don't know. He's a fraud. You're a fraud. Twenty six days. <laughs> Frank, this is. Worst video yet. <laughs> Day one, all of us are safe. The world is on fire. Ratatouille, dead air. The knights who say garbage day? <laughs> what? Nuclear fallout is gone. An unexpected call? Bugs. Damn it. Alternative <laughs> diet? Made contact with the military? Wolverines! Planet of the apes? The dark side? Unknown benefactor? You can hear things? The Huntress, <laughs> Spider-Man, card tricks, graffiti, someone followed us, mall rats. Yeah, yeah. Dolores died of dehydration. Ted died of dehydration. <sighs> okay, give me, I'll save us. Frig. We is, need Ted. What a comedy of errors. 61's again. Water. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Have you ever heard of water? Did you know it's available in this game? Oh, freak. It's tuba time. What? While the kids are in the hall. That's funny. <laughs> oh, that's whoa, I got turned Oh, away. you're opposite side. That was freak. Mm -hmm. okay. The fact that it starts you at a random end of the house is really, really, uh, really mean-spirited. <laughs> Timbis Scott. Oh, water. That's a good idea. Yeah, I just had an idea to get some water. I wish I had thought of that. Me too. <laughs> Med kit. Nice. Uh, water. <laughs> we need more soup, though. 
Yeah. Got soup here in the kitchen for some reason. It's not a real radio. Do we have all the people? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> all right. I think that's good enough. Yeah. At least we know we have food and water this time. Yeah. We'll see if that goes better. Yeah, we're not as stacked with items, but we've got everyone and we've got provisions. Uh-huh. See? We got the radio. Oh. And, oh, did I grab the radio? I grabbed the radio. Did you? I don't remember. It's all blurring into one thing. <laughs> I don't recall you getting this much soup. Great job, honey. <laughs> yeah, I guess I did. Okay. Uh, yeah, nobody gets anything. Okay. Well, we can send someone out in the beginning. They'll get sick, but we do have a first aid kit. Mm -hmm. We'll get both the kids sick, I guess. I think we could win this one. This is winnable. This is winnable. It's easy to feel a bit down when living underground like this. No sunshine, no sky. We need to get rid of that pessimism and try to bring some cheerfulness into our lives. Everybody. Ain't no sunshine fun. underground. <laughs> yeah, it's irradiated. I know. I don't care. Okay. Mm I uh, get the radio, so. freak you, freak you, you stupid earthquake, freak you, tremors. We saved the radio. <laughs> you sound optimistic all of a sudden. I have a good feeling about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, earthquake or not, we are the best. Um, thirsty, thirsty, just thirsty birds. You, you thirsty family? Guess what? I don't care. All right, who should we send first? Timbus? No, Mary Jane. Mary Ginges. Mary Ginges? She's not a Ginges. You're right. Give Empty her... handed. Yes. <laughs> Alright. Give her some well wishes. She knows. <laughs> <laughs> They're QQing about water. I think we can give them another day. Oh, dehydration though. Yeah, but I think we can give them one more day. Oh my god, I don't know. The do- <gasps> Oh, this is good. Give him the water. Because the doctors come and they heal everybody. Oh, yeah. So when Timmy comes back, then he'll be healed. Or even Mary if. Jane. I mean, no, I mean, after Mary Jane comes back, we'll send Timmy. He comes back, they're both sick. Doctors will heal them both. If they don't, and they only heal Mary Jane, we still have the make it for Timmy. Okay. I think we'll, it's enough to last until the radiation dissipates on the surface. Also, we didn't die of dehydration. That good. was good. Okay, but we better and, give him yeah, water. Yeah, give him water now, because I'm afraid of it. A bottle of relatively clean water is the closest we will ever get to do hydrogen peroxide. The guests were grateful anyway. Okay, cool. Okay, do you want to turn on the radio? Um, no. I'm, a, I'm, I'm worried about this. Because yeah, it's, it's not broken. It. Yeah, if it ain't broke... Don't break it. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> that's, the, that's the motto I live by. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, it's still not broken. Good. Just leave it and it works. We're sure they're experiencing technical issues. Yes, that's it. Everything will be just fine. Yeah, probably because of the nukes. <laughs> okay. Everyone's good. Okay, good, good, good. Family. Good family thing. Family. Good, good family. <laughs> Okay, so... Um, frick, that's a rat. He's just gonna eat our soup. Just let it. Yeah, we don't have anything to use against that, so... If he pierces a water bottle, I'm gonna be mad. I don't think he will. What? Yeah, he took a soup. Fine, fine. Rat took our soup. I don't care. I got lots of soup. Hungry, hungry. I don't care. Yay! <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Okay, this breathe. Thing. Well, the doctors are telling anyway. Okay. Frig off and everyone gets sick and I don't care. Off and get sick, and I don't care. Let's just never address this freaking event ever because what the heck? Nobody has any issue. Uh, yeah, we ignored it, and it ignored us. And happy days, cool. Hunger thirst, hunger thirst, hunger thirst. Tried to keep track of dates, but they just don't add up. Luckily, Timmy remembered it's his birthday today. Okay, do you want to give him a present? Freak Timmy, a med kit? I no. Think so. Eat my shorts. Eat your own shorts, you cargo boy. <laughs> cargo boy, cargo boy. Oh, he got the leader hosen. <laughs> Time to grow up, Timmy. This ain't Kansas anymore, and Santa doesn't exist. Damn. Frick. Couldn't they have just been like, you know, the whole, like, 
end of the world ish like we couldn't get you gifts sorry bud no they're like frick they broke his kneecaps and yelled god is dead <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's ridiculous where's your birthday now <laughs> they made him wish for his death day <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh dehydrated they're all dehydrated yeah okay. but the gingers are starving okay fine or should we wait a day um, Waited down food? No. No, because we got the food. Just go for it? Yeah, just go for it. Okay. Timmy has been sitting there just staring into Wonder space. Wonder why he's QQ. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just let's not let him go crazy. He's say, You know what, Timmy? Maybe God's not dead. Yeah. He just had a rough day of it, you know? Yeah, just give him a light, you know. Maybe God's not dead. Maybe he just doesn't like you. Kind of talk. Yeah. Even a word or two may be enough to brighten someone's mood. Timmy seems to be better. Good. Pencil crayon. Oh, thanks, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ted's starving. Yeah. He's, he certainly looks like the type. <laughs> oh, we got Monty oh, Python. Monty Python, it. no map. Oh, well. Sorry, boys. Mary Jane's back. Oh, good. And she brought a map ammo. and a gun and an ammo. Freaking aces but we still need water still need water that's okay we'll send out timmy next we couldn't contain our laughter and our guests took offense they ran off shouting that our ancestors were rodents and smelled like forest fruits how rude nothing made us happier than the sight of mary jane returning to the shelter from the surface when we reached our local police station we were surprised to find it staffed by police officers that's an admiral call of duty right there we couldn't say we knew any of them but they had uniforms and badges, so surely they are the law in this part of the wasteland. It seems like they started writing it down for everyone to see. The exterior station walls are covered with some inspiring signs, like New Order and The World is Ours. Right. Oh my goodness. The policemen were quite nervous while we were around. After a short chat, they gave us some food, then told us to go away and never mention what we saw to anyone. Okay, so we got a soup. Suddenly, the officers started arguing over the subject of taking over the world. It was really strange. They yelled about how they can't assault the firemen without proper firepower. They even threw a rifle through the window, claiming it is useless without any ammunition. We disagreed and took the rifle with us when we were leaving. An ammunition pack was an <laughs> ammunition. An ammunition pack was you lying just <laughs> outside the station. There was a map laid out on the hood of one of the burned down police cars. The clumsy sign on it read, The plan to take over the world. Mary Jane caught something in the She's starving again. Did she? Oh, tired, sick. Well, we'll wait, though. Yeah, we'll wait. She's friggin' starvy tarvy. Starvy tarvy. Alright, let's send the boy. <laughs> okay. Government time, government, government. Hopefully, yes. they say, you need a map to advance this part of the plot. And they say, we have one. So, there you go. We knew it. The government has not fallen, and they're coming to save us. They didn't give exact dates oh, in the radio yeah. transmission. <laughs> We're sure they won't keep us waiting long. They said they will be in touch in a couple days, told us to await further instructions. Cool, cool. Oh my god, you can't not be hungry right now. You freaking Ted. Alright, venture into the unknown. Wait, did we feed Timmy just now? No. No, Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Okay. Apologize. Nothing, I think. Yeah. Good luck! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, see ya! Are there, aren't there any drugs we could give Mary Jane? <laughs> wow, good parents. Greg. Okay, they're all dehydrated. Dolores is starving. Okay, fine. Might as well. Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> Shuck it up, buttercup. <laughs> Let's see. Hunga, 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 bunga, sugga. Alright, listen to the radio. Why not? Oh, phone ringing. Friggin' phone call. Phone call, phone call. Um, hello, would you like to escape? Yes, please. Okay, we were able to get a weak signal and tap into government's emergency announcement. Yes! Service. Okay. Well, it's mostly gone. Awesome. Good news. Alright, send anybody. Send, yeah. 
Maybe she'll miraculously get better if she takes a walk. Nope. Just some fresh air. <laughs> Rub a little dirt in it. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. Woo. Okay. Started to exchange information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us. Okay. Starving. Starving Ted. That's it? Starving Jane. Starving Mary Jane. I don't know why I started calling her Jane instead of Mary Jane. I don't, I don't know what know happened. Either. Two times. Mary Jane uh, was injured. Okay. No, I don't, I don't care. care. Oh. Wow. We both had indifference towards the fat one. <laughs> Mary Jane will be fine. It's not the first time, and it won't be the last time she's sick. She's looking a bit pale today, though. Yeah, I don't really Freaking now she's... Wow. What a complainer. What a sponge. Oh, speaking of complainers... Oh my gosh, Timmy, please come back with some water. <laughs> Ted and Mary Jane have been butting heads lately. Uh-oh. We got into an argument about movie characters, specifically who would win in an ultimate battle. Mutated Godzilla or mutated King Kong? It's a tricky one for sure, and the debate is heated. Who do you, who will come out on top? That's weird. We get to decide who won. Wait, this is such a weird freaking freaking medica. Cause look, it starts off saying Ted and Mary Jane, Godzilla or King Kong, but then when the faces is Mary Jane and Ted. So who is supporting Godzilla and who is supporting King yeah, Kong? Yeah, we can't even pick that. We only can pick Mary Jane or Ted. What a pain in my rear. Yeah. Cause obviously the answer is Godzilla. What? Godzilla will win. Why? Because Godzilla's got nuclear, like, atomic breath before mutations. What's their size comparison like? I think they're about the same size. There was a crossover. I'm yeah. There's probably been That's a thousand crossovers by now, but I think they're on the same. Well, no. I think Godzilla's a lot bigger, actually. If you think about it, King Kong climbed the top of the Empire State Building. Yeah. And was swatting planes, but That'd be small. Godzilla stood taller than the buildings, than the buildings. In, the, in the city. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it would be Godzilla. I wanted to argue with you, but I unfortunately we picked the same side. I'm sad for you. <laughs> if only we knew which one was voting for Godzilla. Well, because I was thinking of like Kong teeth versus like Godzilla, and you know Godzilla's got that like armor plated skin, basically, yeah. right? Like uh, like the. Moto Dragons we were watching. Yeah, bone under the skin. Yeah, he's got skin bones. But I feel, I really do think that Godzilla's atomic breath would win the battle before King Kong could even get close. Yeah, he's just a monkey. Ted is on the left, Godzilla's on the left, but Ted's on the right now. So maybe we say Ted is Godzilla, but Ted looks like King Kong. And Mary Jane is more likely to breathe fire. So I don't know. Maybe we'll just pick Mary Jane so that she doesn't leave, <laughs> even though she's really thirsty. Oh. And also, let's be honest, I like Mary Jane more than Ted. What has Ted ever done? I Ted's think... lose. Uh, I'm scared that was the wrong choice. No, well, everything's okay. Hey, Timmy's back with water. water. Good boy. Mary Jane objectively won the debate with the sheer volume of her voice. A few hours into the shouting, Ted was begging her to stop complaining about a nauseating headache. Mary Jane was satisfied. Dude, we still don't get to know who side she's on. Frig. What a pain. Yeah. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland. Is it safe with us now? It turned out that calling an ambulance is not an option anymore. <laughs> we reached the hospital. It's in ruins, but parts of it turned out to be still standing, more or less. We've decided to go through the rubble and make the best of it. The canteen had a respectable supply of tomato soups. Looks like this was the only thing they fed their patients. Now we're 100% sure it's healthy. Plus one soup. There are plenty of bottles of liquid in one of the wards. Peroxide or not, water is water and beggars can't be water. Two water. One of the surviving water beds had a gas mask hanging on it. Along with a note that read, Wear this, patient smells really bad. <laughs> one of the dead patients had an axe sticking out of his back. According okay. to his chart, he was feeling perfectly fine before the atomic blast. We decided he probably no longer needs that axe. Hunger, hunger, sick hunger, hunger tired sick. Okay, just ignore everyone's pleas. Please! <laughs> okay. Okay. Mary Jane has been caught sneaking it under the cover of night. Dolores was furious when Mary Jane revealed she was going to go on a date with some bandit boy. Oh my <gasps> god. Cool. 
She met him during an expedition. Mary Jane asked for a chance to contact her date via a written note to apologize for not showing up. Should she be allowed? I don't know. What if he's using her? I mean, I who think... would want this? Well, maybe Mary Jane won him over not with her appearance and fat, fat, fat tuba-like body, but maybe she won him over with her her shocking efficiency. Maybe. I don't think so. I think that she's a desperate, fat little girl and he saw an opportunity to use her and knew that she would do whatever he wanted and he's going to take advantage of their shelter. Maybe we can take advantage of him taking advantage. Maybe we let her write the note and then he feels like he has to do extra gestures to try to win over Dolores now. So he gives us water. I don't know. And then we have an axe. You want to axe the boy? You can mulch him down into soup. I think that I think it was a mistake. It looks it's like, gonna hurt us. It's okay because he, we can even bring him into the shelter, and Ted can pose with his rifle. Oh We've got ammo. It'll work. Oh my goodness! After hours of tears, begging, pleading, and some more tears, Dolores teared, caved. Mary Jane wrote a note to the bandit boy, drew some hearts with tomato soup. And left to drop it off. She came back angry and disappointed. Apparently the boy was eaten by a mutant what? raccoon while waiting for her the other night. Eaten by a mutant raccoon? Mary Jane said it was for the best. He was clearly better raccoon father than boyfriend material. What the actual? So what the heck was the point of all that? <laughs> oh my god. That's Frig. horrific. Mary Jane has the worst luck. Yeah. Timmy's starving. She took it well, though. She said he was trash anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, let, let's let Mary Jane go out and hunt for another boyfriend. Okay. Get a good one this time. It's too bad she'll miss out on the doctors if they ever show up. Mm-hmm. I hope she doesn't die. Oh my goodness. She's really sick. <laughs> Timmy's real sick, but we already knew that. Starving Tarvin. <laughs> Dehydratimey. me. Well, he brought the water. He deserves a drink of it. Wait the soup. Uh, is this Do you want to accuse someone of stealing soup? I'm going to accuse Ted. I agree. He's <laughs> <laughs> oh, got some sounds on the radio there. Yeah. Looks like we just made a mistake when counting and started pointing fingers instead of making sure the can was actually missing. It's easy to think the worst when stuck underground in a tiny stinky cement box. The can was there all along, and the only thing we managed to do is turn against each other and fight for no reason. Whoops. Lesson learned. Yeah, but last time there was a fight, we didn't accuse anybody, and then we lost a soup. Mm-hmm. Ted wants a water, or he's going to QQ his way to the grave. Mm-hmm. Dolores, same. She's starving? Oh, no. Ah, uh, great. <sighs> Friggin' cards. What a wonderful apocalypse. Just kidding, it's not good. <laughs> Okay. Why isn't Mary Jane back yet? This is scary. Damn it, we missed our chance to let the military know where we are. Yeah, I know, but we didn't have playing cards. Starvation. Hungry for the guy. Well, you eat the soup and everyone else shut up. When we opened the bunker door this morning to let in some fresh radioactive air, we discovered a small suitcase. Do you want to open the suitcase? Always open the suitcase. Always open the suitcase. Water. 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 What are you doing? A soup? <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Hungry, hungry, fat guy, hungry, fat guy, starvation. Stumbled upon a weird signal when changing radio frequencies. We're pretty sure that behind layers of terrible static and screams, we could hear a voice. A voice speaking in a foreign language. Oh dear, what if it's the Soviets? We should probably listen to it, but what about the children? Yes, listen to the Canadian radio broadcasting. Wait. But what if it turns them? And then they become... Commies? Yeah. Mary Jane will come and set them straight. Okay. Oh! oh Mary Jane back? Oh, Welcome God, home. Mary Jane. She got another water. That's, That's good. good. Canadians. <laughs> okay, I guess you're not reading it. You know you? Yeah, but I want to check the meat. Is that okay? Yeah. Nice roll, honey. Very athletic. Yes, Charlie? Oh, Charlie, come up here. There's a good boy. Good boy. 
missed me, huh? Mom and Dad were both in the room. We were both in the room. Good boy. Good boy. You want to be in the video? You want to provide commentary? Much better cat than that cherry puff guy. Then eat it. Good boy. Hi, honey. Charlie wanted to be in the video. Big stretch chart. To get back in the game. Okay. We were relieved at first when we figured out it wasn't Soviets we heard. Turns out it was Canadians. Which isn't that much better. Either way, they were foreigners and we couldn't understand what they were saying. Not a word. How disappointing. Real shame, eh? What trash is treasure? What's going on here? <laughs> Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. When a man is desperate enough, any place is good to look through to get food and water. Our expedition was coming home with nothing to show for all the searching, but then they stumbled across full trash cans in our neighborhood. Did they become Jamaican? Yeah. One man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> one of our pre-blast neighbors threw out a few unopened cans of soup. Oh, this one again. Why do people throw out water? <laughs> Who cares? Find us, keep us. In some kind of vehicle down the street. Oh, cool. Okay. Timmy wants water. He's gonna die. What a baby. Eat a dehydration. I'm scared that we're not curing either of the kids. You know what? It's a little scary. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Prepare an expedition. Timmy's ready to go again. Oh, yeah, do you want a shark off? I don't think I do, no. No, we'll skip him this time. <laughs> and I already said that Charlie's a better cat than Sharikov. Of course. So we can't take Sharikov now. Mm -mm. It would be disgusting. Yep. No kitty. Okay, let's see. Uh -oh. Both. Dehydration. Starvation. Nothing. Okay. okay. Who are we sending? Timmy? Timmy again, I think. Yeah, I think so too. I want to keep the parents alive. He doesn't need the gas mask, so there's no point. Yeah, he's go with your bare hands. Yeah. Hands of a bear. Heart of a hero. I'm scary. Going a bit too well, huh? Yeah. Waiting for the other shoe to drop. Uh-huh. So up with this broken bottle of water. It's water everywhere. Timmy's got a drop to drink. <laughs> okay, let's feed the Dolores. Yeah, she's looking a little over contoured. <laughs> let's hydrate the Mary Jane. Okay, a traitor. A harmonica for the gas mask? I mean, we could, huh? I, we don't need the gas mask for anything. Yeah. I don't think. I mean, that's a bold statement. Well, let's do it. Take the harmonica. Okay. Keep spirits up. Why not? Okay. All right, you red-haired woman. <laughs> uh oh, it's Moira. Okay. Thanks, Moira. It's from a different game. What okay. game? Fallout 3. Oh. Victory. Dang, that is Dolores looking all dirty. Yeah, it's over contoured. She's just fatigued, I think. I think it's just tiredness. Trade successful. Ration supplies. Nah, you guys are good. <laughs> Note we found on our door today was a real surprise to us all. It's not signed, but it says that whoever wrote it has been observing us for a while and believes we're the right kind of people. They instruct us to send a single unarmed representative to a meeting today at midnight to find out more. Should we send someone? Mary Jane, Mary Jane. Let's go, Mary Jane. <laughs> find the secret. Still Mary Jane. She just coughs oh. like her dad. Oh, okay, okay. The meeting was organized by Twin Cities. Star Wars. Fatigue, fatigue, her dirty. Okay, you guys are fine. The boredom and silence are overwhelming. Too bad we don't have a TV to keep us occupied, but maybe we can chop somebody with an axe. I think... Okay. I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it either. If the axe breaks on Timmy's bones, then it's gonna break if we're using it as a prop. Right. <laughs> Was that a sneeze? I think so. That's kind of cute. Oh, she's starving. Yeah. 
Starving. Uh, They're both dehydrated, the parents. Yeah. It's always Ted and Mary Jane who are like, who want that they get bored. Yeah. Who want that they get bored is always the those two, the Mary Jane and the Ted. Yeah, you think it'd be the fiery gingers always causing trouble. Starvation. Ugh. Last night, the whole shelter was woken up by Ted screaming bloody murder. He was terrified, shouting something about tentacled radioactive mutants on top of his face. Turns out... <laughs> <laughs> this is Mary Jane stepping on his head in the dark. Ted took it very personally and demands medical care. I don't think so. No. Go over it, Ted. Did someone knock on the door? Oh, he is in your though. <clears throat> Mary Jane tried to apologize, but Ted was not having it. He kept lamenting about broken noses and cracked skulls, stumbling around the shelter and gesturing wildly until he tripped over something and fell. Oh, hey, a soup can! That discovery calmed Ted right down. Okay. Okay, Dolores wants to eat food, and she's cute cooing. Oh, I'm going to die. You don't want me to die, do you? One thing you don't expect is a band of people all dressed in green showing up at your doorstep and claiming they take from the rich and give to the poor. Okay. That's exactly what happened to us. Should we let those clowns in? They might provide some quality entertainment. So are they going to think we're rich or poor? Let's evaluate here. Okay, let's take a look at our shelter. I think we've got a lot going on. Yeah, but look at fatigued, injured, sick. I think they may take pity on us. We've got an axe, radio, map, first aid kit, bullets, gun. We have an axe, bullets, and gun. What the heck are they going to do? A harmonica, soup? I think this is a... Okay, go ahead, but I think it's wrong. Okay. Yep, took our map. Oh, shit. The and our gun. Those merry men were not merry at all. They told us that we were rich and that we should share with the other 99% of the wasteland. They grabbed a few things and left. We couldn't do anything to stop them. Their green clothes were too damn hypnotizing. Yep. I told you. Did I tell you? Told you. Oh, I made an error. <laughs> uh, army. Put a card up it. Where's Timmy? Timmy's freaking dead, isn't he? Well, you don't know that. Bye. Bye. Get over this plane. To, well, go get your coffee, Dolores. Go get your gosh darn coffee. And if you come back without any water, I'm going to be disappointed. Well, I'm disappointed. <laughs> I told you. He freaking died. Damn. Oh, man. Has there ever been anything at the diner on that coffee run? No. Oh, my God. Oh, bastard. He wants both. She needs water. Oh my god. This is terrible. Oh my god. Dolores is confident. We'll send her. I can't go outside. Oh my god. What happened? Are we injured again? We were doing so well. Oh my god. No, we just closed the door. Ted's fine. Dolores is fine. Mary Jane is... Diseased. Give her everything. Give her everything. No? I think she's gonna leave us anyway because she's got water. Oh, then we can take back the first aid kit. Or maybe we can send her out. She's she's down to go. Go. We'll take we'll... everything back then. Okay. I hope this is the right play. I don't think it is. It feels really wrong. <laughs> what if... She's so diseased that she'll just go out and die immediately. She might. Oh god, it's content. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. I guess we could have given her something. To no. Take. Okay. <laughs> oh. Well, we got two parents. We can still live. Okay, we gotta recover Ted's wounds. Yeah, but those doctors are coming. Are they? He's in agony. Oh, agony. Yeah, you saw it. Oh, oh check the hole. Oh my god, if we check the hole and someone gets injured, I'm gonna poop my pants. Do it, check it. Oh my god. Oh, the no. radio broke? They broke the radio. Stupid. Frig. Nice beard. This is a nice beard. Yeah. We approached the hole, cautiously peeked inside, freaking rodent ate our god dang radio, pissed us off. Okay. Oh, you want to drink something? Do it, yes. How about no? 
state so secret. No, I don't want your friggin' ad. I want water. <sighs> yeah. Friggin' check the Steam library. We've already got 60 parsecs. Just give us the god dang soup. <laughs> yeah. As a rule, we don't trust door-to-door -door salesmen, especially ones who attempt treason. We told him to go back to whatever planet he dropped to Earth from. He got angry and stormed off, mumbling something about how our souls are going to be devoured by alien Lord Zontar. Poor guy, he seemed very confused. Hello. Oh. They're gonna die? Give them the axe. Friggin' give us some Save water us. in exchange for cutting off your dong. And give us water. <laughs> Guess we're just gonna die. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Give us water, we will give us water, we will live. Ah! Oh, uh, <laughs> they gave us a gun. You hit your head. <laughs> it wasn't worth it. <laughs> Are you okay, honey? Yeah. I'm just so disappointed. Yeah, me too. Um, it's a friggin' robot again. Okay. Wolverines. Mary Jane died too. Wow. They couldn't even let Mary Jane live to the end. They had to kill her too on that last day. <sighs> I guess today's just not a good day for 60 seconds. Oh my god. Okay. Well, we'll do better next time. We have to. There's no choice. But the odds are definitely in our favor that we're going to really clean up next time. Yeah, the, f the friggin' game owes us one. Yeah. Day one, all of us are safe. Ten on the Richter scale, house call, Ratatouille, dead air. The knights who say, 9-11 still on duty. <laughs> Made contact with the military. Nuclear fallout has gone. An unexpected call. ER visited. Bad boy. Soup thief. Miss the army scout. Unknown benefactor. Language lesson. Garbage day. <laughs> Wasteland supply. A new hope. Night terrors. Call the sheriff. Miss the army scout. Coffee run. Timmy did not make it back. Something smells worse than us. And my axe. <laughs> Wolverine. Ted died of Dolores die. Mary Jane also die. You know what else, too? Not only did we bring the whole family and the whole family died, but Mary Jane fell in love and he got eaten. Frig, we have five deaths this run. This is the biggest death toll. Friggin' mathematically improbable. We <laughs> did it, though. That's an achievement in itself. Yeah. So, hey, you perish, but I think we're still winners. Yeah, I'd say. Let's not talk about this anymore. <laughs>